So my first piercing I'm going to talk about is my Helix, I believe it's called. And I call it my triple helix piercing because I got it done um, three times in the same sitting. So I just call it my triple helix. Um, it was done with a needle. My pain threshold. I'm not even going to bother with ratings because my pain threshold for things like tattoos and piercings are very tolerable. So my pain ratings compared to yours are going to be something completely different. So it's pretty pointless. So as I said, it was done with a it was done with a piercing. Well, it was done with a needle, and um, <laughs> the only problem I have encountered is the fact that I sleep on my side. So therefore, due to me sleeping on my side, I then put all the pressure um, from my big old head onto the pillow, which then squashes the piercing, and it develops a bump. Now the bump that I have is not a keloid. Um, the actual name I cannot remember, I should put it here if I do find it and remember it. And it, it's, it's gone down, so it's just something to consider um, as people have asked me about this piercing. So my other piercing that I got um, this year was I got my nipples done. Yes, plural. Um, that piercing, once again, done with a needle, they, um, they were a bloody breeze. They were just the most easy piercings to get. They were just easy with the aftercare. Um, the aftercare was pretty simple. It was just a mixture of, um, sea salt, you know, you, you need your sea salt and your water and you mix it and your clean it but I decided to clean it a completely different way that's right I would use a shot glass so um, I would basically fill up two shot glasses as I did say it's plural and I would just suction my nipples into the the shot glass and just basically walk around with my breasts out, with two shot glasses suctioned to my nipples. My last, more recent piercing that I got was my nose. Um, I got that done in May. I wanted it pierced with a hoop, so I got it pierced with a hoop. I got it, you get it done with the hoop with the ball. And the ball was a ball lake because it just kept moving around so sometimes I'd have this ball dangling out on my nose um you know my friend would be like your balls are showing you know tuck it back in tuck your balls back in when I first got it done the first week it was fine then I think about the seventh the eighth day I started developing um like it was just really sore I actually started to feel like it was infected um because it was like bruised around the hole and it just didn't look good it just I did the whole cleaning with the sea soul I was still doing that um I just had to really keep watching it and watching it and that soon went down and after three months I decided to then get it changed so I get it changed to a smaller hoop um they did try a seven millimeter but it's it was still a bit too big for me. I now go for a six millimeter as that is the smallest I can find. After changing it, perfectly fine. And um, it was still quite tender, to be honest though, after three months, but I wasn't experiencing any problems until I just started to get really pissed off. I was just like, I cannot clean my nose properly because it was just tender and the knocking and, it was starting to frustrate me that my nose wasn't getting cleaned as well as I wanted to. I decided to be a bright spark and get a nose stud. Perfectly fine for about three weeks. Then I started to notice I was developing a bump on my nose. Yeah, another bloody issue. So the bump was because my stud was kind of like sinking in to my nose. And once again, the pressure of something digging into your skin 
it's um, going to get a mark. You're going to get a raised bump, which I did. So, taking it to Dr. Google, I ended up with this concoction of um, vitamin E oil and tea tree oil once again. Well, of course, because I was using that on my, um, my ear, so why wouldn't it work for my nose? So after about three or four days, I started to notice it was subsiding. Oh my God. After about a week, it had completely disappeared. I never put the, the stud back in. I had to put my hoop back in during that whole process because I needed the skin to heal. I didn't want this hoop, the hoop, the stud to be irritating my, um, my nose anymore. That is actually my piercings any issues you basically have with your piercings try vitamin E oil and tea tree oil equal parts and get a q-tip wash it twice a day and hopefully after about a week you start seeing results so there we go all my piercings are now hunky-dory that's basically it really